Hi there, this is Steven Fox. Welcome back to Smart Balls, and today I'll be starting a new thing called Phone Tech Talk. And my first subject will be the new face of MediaTek and should you trust it again. So here is my preview of the Helio P60. Is MediaTek back? I have to tell you, as much prejudice you have against MediaTek, MediaTek has finally made the step in the right direction and this by not competing in the highest end of smartphone markets. What this means is it doesn't compete with the current Snapdragon 845, the Exynos 9810 and the Kirin 970. But what it does is actually providing the best performance per value in a range where I think most of you are really looking to buy a phone and that is between $200 and $350 and that's where MediaTek's new products come in the Helio P40 and the Helio P60 these are, should I put it, budget flagship phone range what is, is a budget flagship? a budget flagship is a phone that has the performance, the battery life that 99% of you need even for gaming but doesn't break the bank and it's usually put in which costs around $240, $50 to $350 which is I think the sweetest spot for you to position a great phone to sell to people because let's face it all of you who have like $500 to spare and thinking about buying a OnePlus 5T or a Huawei on a View 10 they really have the extra $150 cash to go for the big guns like the Samsung S8 and perhaps the Samsung S9. But what about all of us regular users who don't have that kind of cash? Most of the people I know are willing to spend from $250 to $350 tops on a phone. And here I am to tell you why you should be excited about the Helio. P40 and Helio P60 which are coming in like a bunch of new devices starting with the Meizu E3 which is supposed to be the first phone with the Helio P60 and the phone is actually arriving in this sweet spot at just around $340-$50. So what is the Helio P60 and why you should be excited for and especially why should you buy it? So what is Helio P60 doing in terms of performance? First, let's talk about CPU performance, which is our calculation data speed, which is very important for all of the general work you do with calculations, which is also browsing, uh, the web working with databases, uh, literally almost every task you do on your phone. And this is much more important than the GPU performance, which is the graphics performance, because this is mostly gaming related. First, it's an octa-core design, but it's not a small 8-core design like the Helio P20, Helio P23, Helio P25, Snapdragon 625 and Snapdragon 630, which all used 8 A53 cores, which is the smallest type of core which ARM provide, and this having been more suited to efficiency rather than performance. With the Helio P60 and Helio P40, MediaTek has moved to an octa-core design where you have four A73 cores and four A53 cores. Yes, that's right, this is the same configuration as the Huawei's Kirin 970, for instance. So you'll be getting roughly the performance of a $500 smartphone chip in a $250, $300 phone. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that what most of you really want? And then, what about the graphics? Because I already mentioned the 3D gaming and such well, the Helio P60 is packing the latest and best graphics score that ARM Mali has. It is the G72, which has all the latest features and in recent testing has proven to be much more efficient in complex shading games and 3D technology than Qualcomm's Adreno graphics. So it will come with a tri called as MP3 Mali G72. What does this mean? All this means around 30 to 40 percent improvement in gaming compared to the Helio P23 and around 50 percent better than the Helio P20 and Helio P25. But that doesn't come at the cost of 
where Stimulus, because the Helio P60 is built on the 12, that's 1, 2, 12 nanometer fabrication process, which means that it's a more advanced process than your Snapdragon 821, your Snapdragon 660, your Snapdragon 625, and Snapdragon 630. So the chip won't get hot in the gaming. Now, most of you will probably say, well, what about the Snapdragon 636? That also is basically the same configuration and it's a Qualcomm chip. Yes, that's right, but currently the only phone that's selling with the Snapdragon 636 and it's only available in India is the Redmi Note 5 Pro, which is again around $300 price point. And as soon as I get one, as soon as I get a Helio P60 device, let me tell you, I will compare the living hell between those chips because I'm pretty sure that MediaTek have leveled the playing field with Qualcomm when it comes to performance per value with these phones. So the MediaTek Helio P60 brings another very good flagship feature to the mid-range sector in this AI or artificial intelligence. Now it's not like machines taking over the world or anything, but it's recognizing images and applying certain features to it. So we only have currently one benchmark that actually does all this and this is comparing G max per second which is giga multiply accumulate operations per second which has to do with all of calculations but what you need to know is that it used it is used to measure the performance of DSP processes which is digital signal processing process which is a separate chip that has to do with images and your phone and every other phone has a ISP, which is an image signal processor, which handles all the camera work. So now ISP is really another name for a DSP. What does that mean for the Helio P60? Well, MediaTek have issued a statement that the currently Helio P60 holds 280 G max per second. So this is 280,000 multiply accumulate operations per second. How good is that? Well, the Kirin 970 is by far the best one on the market. It's uh, much, much better than this, around, say, perhaps 10 to 15 times faster than what the Helio P60 offers. However, the A11 Bionic in Apple's latest iPhones, which cost uh, an arm, a leg and a kidney, can roughly do around 300 G Max per second. So, the Helio P60 is just 10% slower than the A11 Bionic when it comes to AI operations per second. I think that is a marvelous feat to put in your $250 phone. Since I'm on the subject of cameras, the Hero P60 can handle two and even three camera setups. That's why it has three ISP or image signal processors which means that you can handle a Huawei P20 kind of setup with three cameras on the back, or you can have two cameras or just a single camera operation present. MediaTek have also learned a lot about image signal processing in the past years, and that they now claim that the Helio P60 and the image signaling processor is the best when it comes to efficiency when taking a photo. So if you have a Helio P60 device, and you like taking a lot of pictures, do you know that it will not drain your battery as much as it would with other phones, especially other budget phones at this price range. It's really, really cool. And that also applies to, you know, shooting video. Another really awesome feature of the Helio P60 is that it's going to be the first ever budget performance king phone that will actually offer dual 4G multi support. That's right, you can have two nano sims in there and they will both support 4G and voice over LT or 4T or HD voice at the same time. And I know that a lot of you have been asking for this feature for ages, but currently the only phone that actually supports this is the Helio X30, which is only available in the Mazu Pro 7 Plus and it's a really expensive phone. So MediaTek is bringing that amazing feature to you around $250-$300 in about a month or so. With the Hero P60 you get a chip that's faster than the Snapdragon 660, 
more efficient, has AI capabilities and has support for dual 4G voice over LT or HD voice feature. And this is all coming in $250, $300 phones next month with perhaps the first phone being uh, not actually announced yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's the case, it will be the Meizu E3, which is coming at $340 and Meizu have actually said it will have better cameras than the M6 Note, it will be 18 by 9 so I think this will be the first of its kind. So 2018 is really all about that budget flagship. Gone are the flagship killer phones because they have become, let's face it, almost as expensive as the real flagships while they just offer the same performance, they offer better display or better cameras at this price. And people who have that kind of money can really afford to pay $150 more to get your Samsung S8, S9, HTC U11, U12 or whatever. But to most of you, they really want a $300 device that has very good cameras and that can play all the latest games in really good frame rates and high fidelity graphics want to have good battery life and want to have fast general performance and the Hero P60 covers all of this and plus it brings you AI capabilities and to 4G voice over LTE or Volti on the same phone 